Somebody else's story and belief about what's possible for your life is irrelevant. How many times have you thought about quitting your job and starting a new life? Hey, I'm Lindsay, the girl who actually did that. And now I'm on a mission to change the nine to five narrative that dreading Monday and working for the weekend is normal and acceptable. My goal is to help you see your potential beyond your credentials, gain clarity on what it means to live life on your own terms, and build the confidence to go after your dream career. I'm here to prove to you that it's possible for you to do work you love, make a positive impact on the world, make even more money than you're making right now, and live a deeply fulfilling life. So let's dive in. Hello, my beautiful friend. I am here today to tell you to stop asking people for advice. Stop asking people for career advice, okay? And here's why. From all of the accountants who I talked to for the past few months, I've talked to hundreds of you and I used to also be an accountant. And every time I talk to an accountant who hates their current job and I ask you how you got here, Like, how did you become an accountant if this is something you hate? There is this common theme among all of us that ultimately we got here because we listened to other people, because we listened to our parents and our teachers telling us that accounting would be a good path, that it was a stable job, that it pays well. Um, I mean, I... I know that I got into accounting because when I was 18 years old, I just didn't know what I truly wanted and I was good at math. And so I basically every adult was telling me, you know, all of the things that we always hear, right? Like, oh, become an accountant. You'll always have a job. It's a great place to start your career or whatever. Um, But really, we all ultimately got here because we were listening to all of the stories that everybody else was telling us about why this was a good path. And so if you got to where you are from listening to other people, the answer of how to get to where you wanna be is not asking other people. It's eliminating all of that noise and being able to connect with yourself and get clear on what you actually want. You don't need (laughs) somebody else's opinion. You don't need somebody else to tell you and give you advice on where to go in your career because all that's going to get you is stuck again (laughs) in another six months from now, another year from now. If you're only listening to other people and you're not getting connected to just what you truly want, you're going to feel stuck in the same place and you're still not going to be on the right path. If you are going to live an extraordinary life, if you're going to live a fulfilling life and you feel like you don't belong in this corporate path, like you don't, if this isn't where you belong, then asking other people who are in that corporate path what you should do next is just going to get you even further down the wrong path. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. And also Stop asking for advice from people who aren't living the life that you want to be living. Like, don't stop asking your coworkers for career advice or even a career coach, which like, yes, that's their job, but that's why I'm not a career coach. I'm a life coach because I'm not here to give you career advice. I'm not here to tell you what your options are. I'm here to help you get connected to what you really want and come back to yourself and be able to shut out all the noise because the truth is whatever you want is available for you. You just have to get clear on what that is and then believe that it's possible for you. And that's when you're going to create the life that you want for yourself. That's when everything changes. You don't need, you know, you, I think a lot of times we, we want that external validation. Like so many people I talk to, they're like, I want to talk to my parents. I want to talk to my friends. I want to talk to my boyfriend. I want to like, 
We want to like, whenever we're making a big decision, we want to talk to everyone we know and get everyone's advice. And like, we're like, what if I'm missing something? What if there's something I didn't consider? I want to make sure I've considered all my options. And it's like this frantic energy of like, what if I'm missing something? And it's like, no, sis. If you get connected to your intuition, then you have everything that you need. You're not missing some option that you didn't consider, some job opportunity that you didn't consider. And I think we also a lot of times want that validation, even if we feel like we know what we want. We want that validation from somebody else saying, yes, that's a good idea. Yes, that's possible for you. But the thing is, that's their story. Somebody else's story and belief about what's possible for your life is irrelevant because that's just their own story. And if they don't believe that it's possible to do work you love and make a lot of money and feel fulfilled every day, if they don't believe that's possible for them, they're not going to believe it's possible for you. So when you tell them your idea and they tell you that that's not a good idea and you should stay in your stable job and that isn't going to make you a lot of money and all the reasons why you shouldn't do it, those are lies. Those are lies. And that's their story. And you don't have to believe that. Um, but for example, I was talking to one of my friends who is an accountant, an accountant, and he wants to become an entrepreneur. Basically, he knows he wants to start his own business and be an entrepreneur, but he doesn't know exactly what, what he wants to do and what kind of business he wants to create. And when I asked him what he felt like he needed in order to figure out what he wanted to do, he basically said, you know, it'd be great having like a committee of people that could just tell you whether your business idea was a good idea and whether it would work. And I was like, that is a terrible idea because do you know how many business ideas get rejected a million times before they become massively successful businesses? Like, J.K. Rowling's book idea for Harry Potter got rejected by 12 publishers. So if you are only looking for external validation of your ideas, then you're going to stay stuck in somebody else's story of what is possible for your life. And that's a lie. Harry Potter was a great fucking idea. And if J.K. Rowling had listened to those 12 publishers who told her it wasn't a good idea, it never would have become Harry Potter. You guys, Kobe Bryant's guidance counselor told him not to pursue basketball <laughs> like stop listening to other people stop caring what other people think stop looking to other people for advice you know what you want you have everything you need inside of you to guide you to exactly where you're meant to be but you can't get there if you keep letting other people's opinions hold you back you can't Especially if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to work for yourself, if you want to start your own business, other people, there's always going to be people out there who think your idea is stupid and think it's not going to work. And that doesn't mean they're right. It just means they're not your people. Okay. And honestly, your dreams should seem crazy to other people. Like if no one has ever called your dream crazy, you're not dreaming big enough. Because it shouldn't, it's not supposed to make sense to other people. You are the only one responsible for believing in your dream and making it happen. Other people's approval is not required at all. Is it nice to have the support of other people? Yes, but if no one's ever called you crazy and said, there's no way you're going to do that, you're not actually dreaming big enough. Like you're not dreaming as big as your actual potential. Because you're capable of incredible freaking things that not even you can even dream of yet. And they should seem crazy. Like your dreams should seem crazy to you. My dream of quitting my accounting job, starting my own business as an online fitness coach when I had literally no background in fitness seemed crazy to me. But I still just had that belief inside of me so strongly that I was going to make this happen, that I was going to make this life for myself, that it didn't phase me when other people told me that was crazy and it's not going to work and I'm not going to succeed because I just knew that I was going to. Like I knew that I was the only one responsible for believing in that dream and making it happen. And even now, there are a lot of times where I'm still dreaming big. I'm still dreaming crazy. 
in terms of the revenue I want to bring in and the amount of clients I want to help, whatever it is. And I'll tell like my friends or my family those dreams and they'll be like, do you really think that's possible? And I'm like, hell yeah, it is. And I can tell that they don't think that that's going to happen, but it doesn't matter because other people's validation is irrelevant. Other people's opinions, other people's advice, you don't need somebody else to validate your dream. You just have to believe it truly believe it within yourself. And if you're not there yet, then that's what you need to work on. If you find yourself wanting external validation, if you find yourself wanting to keep asking more and more people for advice and for their opinion on what your next career move should be, maybe it's time to look internally and it's time to just work on the belief within yourself. Because when you are in a place where you truly believe so strongly in your dream and you know you're on the right path and you know that you're going to create this life for yourself and you're going to make it happen. You're not going to seek that external validation because you don't need it because you have all the validation you need within yourself. Like if you're taking action in your life from a place of needing validation from other people, you're never going to feel fulfilled. Sis, you just need to get connected to yourself again because listening to the advice of other people is what got you here and what got you stuck in a job that you fucking hate. So stop asking other people for advice. Okay. So big news, enrollment for my Career with Purpose Academy is officially open. So I revamped my program, my coaching program, and it is now a 90-day one-on-one coaching program for you. If you are an accountant who is feeling stuck in your job, you feel like accounting isn't for you, you would love to work for yourself someday and live a life of freedom, doing work you love that brings you fulfillment and brings you that sense of purpose, but maybe you don't know what that is or you do know what you want to do, but you don't know if it's realistic. You don't know if you can make this happen. And so the purpose of this program is to help you get connected to get connected to yourself so you can get clear on what you really want and silence all the noise, all of the other people's opinions, everybody else's stories and limiting beliefs that you have internalized about I can't make a lot of money doing what I love, about um, what if I fail, what if it doesn't work out, what are other people going to think of me? The work is in overcoming all of those internalized limiting beliefs so that you can reconnect with yourself, reconnect with your intuition, and get clear on the life that you actually want and develop that confidence and that belief in yourself to know that you can make it happen. And from there, the how just kind of manifests. You're going to figure out what your next move is. You're going to have a clear a clear action plan at the end of the 90 days, but it's going to come from that place of truly believing that your dream life is possible for you. And we're going to figure out how to make that your reality so that you can get out of this path that you're not meant to be on and step into your potential, step into the life and the career that you're truly meant to be living. I'm so excited for this program. We're going to start on March 1st. So if this sounds like it's for you, the link is in my bio to apply. Click the link read through the page for more info, submit your application. Early enrollment ends next Thursday, the 20th. I think that's the date, the 20th. Um, Go and apply because spots are going to fill up quickly. And I'm so freaking excited to start this program and change some people's lives. Like if you have that voice inside of you, you know, like you know, the reason why you feel stuck right now is because your intuition is not in alignment with your truth, right? So if that's where you're at and you know you're made for more and you're not made for this corporate bullshit and you want to be doing work you love and that brings you a sense of purpose and you want to create your dream life, which is really ultimately what this is about, is creating your dream life. (laughs) And then your career is just one part of that. But it's really about creating your dream life and stepping into who the fuck you're meant to be. Um, so that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a crazy 90 day transformation and I can't wait to see where my clients end up. I already have one person enrolled and another application. Um, 
I have a call with that person later this week. So don't wait to apply. Click the link in my bio. If you have any questions, send me a DM. I love you. And I hope you have an amazing night. Hello, my love. If you're loving the podcast and you're currently feeling stuck in a job you hate, I have created something just for you that you can experience for free right now. I remember when I was deep in my quarter life crisis, I would use my commute to work every morning to listen to podcasts and learn everything I could about personal development, about happiness and success, about starting a business, about marketing myself online. Like I wanted to consume all the content and learn all the knowledge that I could about all the things. <laughs> And honestly, that's a huge part of why I wanted to start this podcast for you in the first place, to give you that hit of inspiration, motivation, and knowledge every week to help you move through your own quarter life crisis, which is why I am so excited to share with you that I created an audio course called What to Do When You Hate Your Job. This course includes eight short audio lessons, I'm talking under 10 minutes each, where I boil down how to navigate this time in your life into short action steps and exercises that you can do right now to get yourself out of a job you hate and start making money doing work you love. The entire course is under an hour long, but it is full of knowledge bombs. I'm telling you, you will feel so motivated and so clear on how to discover your passions and use the things you love to make money. I share insights on overcoming self-doubt and the fear of making the wrong decision, how to find happiness in a job you hate, and how to stop settling in your career and create a more fulfilling life. You can listen to my course right now with your free trial on Listenable. Listenable is an audio platform just like the one you're listening on right now, but instead of podcasts, it has short audio courses from experts on topics like career and success, personal development, productivity, health and fitness, entrepreneurship, and so much more. I'm telling you, if I knew about Listenable back in 2018, it would have been a part of my daily commute for sure. I already know you love podcasts, so I know you're going to love Listenable. The link to my course is kind of long, so I will spare you from having to hear me spell it out, but I left it right in the show notes for you. Go listen to my course, What to Do When You Hate Your Job, with your free trial on Listenable, and if you want to stick around, use code Lindsay Hansen, all one word, all lowercase, for 30% off your Listenable subscription. So one more time, you can click the link in the show notes to listen to my entire audio course with your free trial on Listenable right now.